So uh, before this video starts guys, I just want to say that this video is sponsored by TradeSkinsFast.com So this is uh, basically a trading website. This is the best trading website I've had so far guys. Uh, they have the best prices for everything. So as you can see, I'm trading two of my knives and my M4A4 Asimov, two I M4, M4A4 uh, Poseidon and uh, Op Hyper Beast and three keys just just for the record so uh, before you do anything check the float guys as you can see you can check the float of the items and everything and after you're finished your trade offer will be sent in a few seconds and uh, as you can see i have all the items in my trade i have my knives i have my m4 and the keys are down below and the poseidon and the op hyper -Beast. i just accepted the trade i got them in my inventory it's that simple guys i know it's hard <laughs> to believe it but it, it's that simple to trade your skins and uh, yeah guys that's basically it make sure you t you check trade skins fast.com they have the best prices for everything so uh, that guys that was everything for me right now enjoy the video how's it going everyone my name is multi necroman and today guys i'll teach you how you can boost your csgo fps should pop up and uh, it's called coder bag this is the the side that will disable your parking from cpu so basically just just go ahead and click click the link in the in the description then scroll down a little bit and you have download application executable files so just click that uh, and basically you'll have this on your desktop or wherever you saved your uh, your zip file so basically after you have this make sure to extract to unpark cpu thingy and another folder should pop up and if you click it you you should have these things in the folder so basically click this unpack cpu thingy make sure you check the status of your cpu and you should wait a little second now that is done checking everything for your pc you you should have like two values or maximum four i don't know guys what your cpu is but i have two values right now they are both parked as you can see on the status it says parked it should be unparked so i just i'll just press unpark all guys that's it that's all you have to do with this program and it will help your cpu run better if you see uh, i don't know lags and things like that and you think it's because of this uh, program make sure you uh, you go into it again and make sure instead of clicking on on park call make sure you park all so as you can see the status turned out from park to unparked and this should help your cpu run better run smoothly but as i said if you see uh, i don't know uh, it, it's not an improvement for you make sure you go and park all guys so this is the first step you have to do the second step guys make sure you download the nvidia inspector from the link down below as well is the second download link that you'll see and make sure you double click on the nvidia inspector this is basically your graphics cards info as you can see i have a geforce gtx gtx uh, 1080 and basically all you have to do with this program you have to ignore everything and this is not important just click this these little two tools just click them and make sure down here i mean up here on profiles where it says profiles search for counter-strike global offensive make sure you're on this profile as you can see few changes turn green because that's what they will actually change for you this is uh, nvidia actual program so it it has no harm for your pc it it will just change a few settings for your graphics card in order to run better with uh, csgo so after you've you've typed in here csgo make sure you apply the changes and bam that's it you have a little improvement to your csgo so close everything as i said guys if you think this one is actual is the actual problem as well make sure you go into the global offensive or make make sure to put it on uh, i don't know another profile make it default or something like that it will reset everything and you'll be good to go so that's the second step you have to do guys and the third step and the last step of the video probably is uh, your actual uh, your actual command so uh, launch commands so basically guys when you open up your steam you have this counter side global offensive here but go to properties set launch options this this is basically my launch options right now i have them in my notepad so let me explain every single thing that i have in these launch options i have them right here as well but let me explain what they mean so frec 144 
means like if your monitor can handle 144 hertz uh, you, you run the game smoother and you force the game to run the game at the at 144 hertz because sometimes it doesn't run at 144 so in order to check it just go to display settings right here and then um, make sure you go to advanced display settings and then uh, go to display ad adapter properties and then onto monitor so as you can see i have a bank rs this one has only 75 hertz and the the gaming one which is the second one if i press in here it has 144 hertz so it depends guys if you have one monitor only and it's like 75 hertz make sure instead of 144 i have here make sure to type 75 so that will help your game a little bit not so much but it helped so no AI fonts uh, it's basically it will take all the all the idiot things like few errors in the game it it will take it out away i just can't explain it <laughs> just use it guys trust me it will help if you don't want to trust me just delete it from the launch options and you're good to go no vid basically means that the annoying startup video from uh, csgo valve won't actually be up so your game will pop up instantly and you don't have to wait anymore that long hi actually will put your game a uh, high priority in task manager so if i get my task manager right here i have a bunch of applications right here i have my google chrome right now which is using kind of a lot of memory like 100 megabytes is kind of a lot but uh, for example if you're running csgo the, it will be above all these process guys so it will it will tell the pc to focus on your game not on google chrome or notepad or i don't know steam client booster and shits like that so it will help your pc run the game smoother if again if any of these settings influences your game in a bad way just delete them guys and uh, you're good to go console basically is uh, the console it if you type uh, minus console in the launch options you'll get the console right at the be beginning of your game when you start the game you have the console right popping up and see if all the things are loaded that's what i do with the game i like to see it sometimes i i don't know i want to see it when it, the game starts no joy basically disables the the joystick from uh, the xbox thingy because uh, i don't know if you guys knew but you can play csgo with a controller and the controller settings makes the game lag sometimes so that's why people put no joy in uh, in their launch in the launch settings it helps for me for few fps it's not a lot but it's quite a few fps like 10 fps or so so if you want to, to have it just have it guys this is the uh, the directx from the game the game basically runs at uh, directx 10 i believe and with these you can run it at directx 9 which is a little bit better it's for older pcs if you want to use it use it guys i i use it right now as you can see i have it here but uh, it doesn't help me so much it helps me with a little bit of frames not so much but it helps so i, I stick it in here this matthew mode 2 is it will help your game as well i i actually forgot what it does i i knew it helped the game a lot with the frames it makes them stable like if, if you have around 300 400 fps i have that much in the game but if you want them to be stable not to run like 200 to 500 200 to 500 that's kind of bad because you will see your screen is will turn into a fucking laggy thingy so before you do anything guys the mat q mode will actually makes it makes them stable so you'll have if you have right now 200 to 500 fps they will sticking they will be sticking around to 300 to 400 so it will help the game process images uh, images a little bit better so that's kind of good matte vignette enabled zero i have no idea what this does but it helped my my game a lot it doesn't affect the graphics quality it doesn't affect anything but it make it makes my game smoother for some reason i don't know why and the tick rate 128 is because i play on face it and the tick rate there is 128 so that helps me 
run the game like forced at that tick rate, you know. And on matchmaking, you have 64 tick. If you play only matchmaking, you should disable this thing because it won't help at all. So, and the client port, this thing, I have no idea what it does again, but it helped my game run way way better so just use it and you have one more option if you want to it's the threads and i have eight right now in my cpu if you want to check it just google up your processor everything it says on your processor and then you'll see how much how many processes you have so basically that's easy and uh, for some people it helps i have to say it for some cpu it helps for some it doesn't so if it doesn't help you guys make sure to disable it i have it disabled I, I actually didn't even try on this computer i tried it on my last computer and it didn't work at all it made my game worse actually so i disabled it and everything turned out to be normal again and uh, yeah I'll, I'll just use it for direct guys and uh, if you want to do that you have these things in the in the description down below if you want to to copy them and just go for your own and just change your settings in the notepad like I do here. So just delete everything, I just pasted my new uh, launch options and press OK, close it, start your new game and you're good to go guys. That's kind of everything for today guys. If you like this video make sure to leave a like down below, it will help me out a lot and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. See you guys. Or hop if you wanna just pass to my leverage The evidence, as they say, is in the pudding So show me the money like my name was Cuba Gooding It ain't fool's gold, it's gold, fool Can't stop, won't stop keeping it old school